want to know how to use Teleport on official servers in Rust by using a recent update and a secret workshop item, or how to break the game mechanics with flying socks by using an insane bug that no one knows about, or maybe how to get inside the train to become invisible and get banned for it in just 5 minutes. Here are 12 secret Rust tips that many of you definitely didn't know, from the light ones to ones that will blow your mind. Jedis and Lentilmans, I would be very interested to hear about any bugs or tips you know of, so feel free to write about them in the comments below. The best ones will be in the next video with a mention of you. And as always, hit that like button right now, and if I can surprise you with at least two of these tips, then you can take your like back. Okay. If you crash into a chaining fence on a copter at full speed, nothing will happen. It won't explode, it won't break, it won't take any damage. Absolutely nothing. And it doesn't matter if this fence is located in one of the rat towns or if you build it by yourself. But if you crash a mini copter at a wall at full speed, you know what's gonna happen. You can get this broken rust skin for completely free by spending 30 minutes in another game from Face Punch. Why is it broken? Because it doesn't require a workbench to craft and it costs only 35 metal. And for extra protection, you can wear this helmet with a bandana mask. In this case, you will get a 25% head protection. So, this item has the same stats as the bucket helmet, but doesn't require research and workbench for crafting. To get this skin, go to a Steam store and find this game called Clutter. You don't need to buy it, as it's free. Next, you have to play the game for 30 minutes, then open Rust game and you will get your skin. If not, go to a random official or community server. And now you're sure to get the Clutter helmet. Technically, you can make a legal teleport on the official server in Rust. You need to buy this item in Steam for 3.5 bucks. And to craft it, you need only 2 hike wall. So the main idea is to make the tallest tower possible. And when you can't build higher, use a bug. You need to craft as many ladders and souvenir eggs as possible and continue to build the tower. That's why I said it's technically possible. Because this will take a lot of time and resources. Much easier to do this on X2 server, but it's also possible on the official servers. As a result, you will be able to fly on the oil rig or cargo or any other red towns with a parachute in complete silence. If you have found snowmobile, you are very lucky. You can use it to drive inside the train. The problem is you can't get out from it, because you're blocked by a texture, but it's easy to fix. You can just move to the passenger seat. And now you can shoot through the train and damage other players, while being completely invisible to them. Imagine you get lucky and found a tugboat a few minutes after wipe. You immediately put wooden doors to protect it, kill the few boars to make a fuel and sailed away from the beach. But suddenly that fuel ran out. Well, it's not a problem. You need to craft two bear rugs using the leather you recently farmed and place them at the end of the boat, like this. You can now push the boat while on the water and keep going at a pretty good speed. Did you know that you can use the torch underwater? Check this. If you just go underwater with a burning torch, it will go out. But if you press the left mouse button when it goes out, you can use the torch as much as you want. This tip may be helpful if you are diving at night, so use it. Another bug that will allow you to make the laser sight invisible. To show this, I will put on the AK holosite and laser sight attachments. All you need is to have just two items in the fast loads, your weapon and any other item. Now just spin the mouse wheel as fast as you can to change these items in your hands. Do this until the holosite is gone from the AK. Here's what it looks like. Now when I press the F button, I hear a sound but the laser itself doesn't turn on. You can see the same thing when you look at the slot with your weapon. When I turn on the laser, glow appears around the weapon, but nothing happens. The point is, the laser actually works, and it will reduce your recoil. If you find the base with a roof like this one, immediately start farming wood, because this will be the easiest raid in your life. 
First, you need to get on the roof by using the ceilings or just craft a ladder if you can. Then place the ceiling on top of the roof and you will see a half wall in front of you, which you can break with spears or jackhammer. If you've been killed several times by door campers and now you're scared to go outside, you can use this tip, take a rug and cover the doorway with it. Now you can open the door with no fear and if you want to improve this method, just attach some combiners or splitters or any other components to the rug and remove it. If you don't have electrical components, you can use wooden sign or picture frames. Now you can safely check what's going on outside, without fear of anyone getting inside of your base. Here are two keybinds to change the hand placement in the game. You can use any buttons you want, I'm just showing an example. You can also use these console commands to change the view model of your hands. Personally, I like playing with long arms, because the weapons don't take up as much space on the screen. Every winter, during Christmas, devs add holiday items to Rust. By opening gifts you can get super stocking. Don't just place them on the wall, because they can be used as a ladder. Just look at this, I don't know how it works, but they just stuck in the air. You can get to a cargo ship through the most unexpected place. Just swim up to the back of it and place a few ladders under the boat. Then press the E button and get inside of it. You have successfully infiltrated the ship. You can also use your own ladders to get on the top and suppress your enemies. And here is the best tip. Take a look at this base. Inside you won't find anything useful. And it may seem like this base was raided a long time ago. But that's the trick, because all deployables are hidden underneath. Here you have a workbench, oil refinery, a sleeping bag, several furnaces and a few boxes. This base uses a pixel gap system. So to transfer the loot inside, just pick up the door and use the large box underneath. And when we place the door back, the gap disappears. Building this base is easy enough. First, prepare the foundation for the pixel gap system. I have a full video on my channel on how to do it. Then, add a high foundation to the right and cover low foundations with half walls. Add more high foundations around it. You should get a 2x2 core with triangle honeycombs. Remove these two foundations and upgrade everything else into stone or metal. Then, enclose the main core with walls. and add a doorway here. Finally, cover this hidden base with floors and don't forget to throw a sleeping bag underneath. You can add doorways and a few loot rooms on top. Place a TC in the room on the left and make a loot room on the right. Add two shelves on the inside and upgrade the floor into metal or high wall. To keep the base from looking suspicious, add all deployables that you need on top. And on the bottom, keep the most important things. And the last tip will help improve your aim. Because to have a good aim in Rust, it's not enough to improve your tracking, flicking and recoil control. It won't help you master the other 80% of mechanics that exist in this game. <laughs>